we estimate that the uh, fire burned approximately uh, three, three and a half miles from where it started. Strong winds blew a brush fire from Buchanan County into Platte County today. One firefighter was treated for smoke inhalation, a home was damaged, and a car was destroyed. This is Fox 4 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. Authorities say though it could have been a lot worse. The fire burned along Missouri 273 and 45 highways. This is along the Buchanan and Platte County line near Lewis and Clark Lake. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco brings us the latest. He's on the scene where the hot spots are still burning tonight. This area was originally a lake, a dry lake bed, but you can see there are trees behind me that have still been burning out here tonight, smoldering ashes for some three miles, as it's been quite a day for everyone here in Buchanan and Platte County. A red flag warning went into effect this afternoon, just about the time a fire started near Sugar Lake in Buchanan County. It quickly got out of control with winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour. With getting pushed with the uh, wind, uh, doesn't take long to uh, to, to get that uh, uh, burning with all the fuel, the dry leaves and brush and, and those type of things. The fire spread south into Platte County as deputies in Buchanan and Platte counties and troopers with the State Highway Patrol knocked on doors evacuating dozens of homes. They did an excellent job today, obviously putting uh, putting themselves in, in uh, in a place to make sure that they uh, protected and served our, our citizens and kept them safe. All as volunteer firefighters from at least 10 different departments worked to keep the fire from heavily wooded bluffs and railroad tracks as it engulfed the highway and crept into the backyards of homes. We had uh, one house that, that caught on fire that they were able to get put out fairly quickly. It wasn't a total loss. A pickup truck in Platte County was also destroyed. Things finally got under control before six as they were able to reopen first the railroad then the highway and allow people back into their homes. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. So lots of hot spots for firefighters out here to monitor. Well, actually only a couple hundred yards from homes right now. People I'm sure sleeping a little uneasy in both Buchanan and Platte counties. Dave DeMarco, Fox 4 News. And the smoke from the wildfires can make the air feel a bit heavier than normal. According to airnow.gov, air quality in the Kansas City area dipped into being unhealthy for sensitive groups. It happened earlier this evening. It's improved since then, but that can mean it could affect people with conditions like COPD or asthma. The Kansas Department of Health and Environment says it's important that you take the right precautions to protect yourself. Staying indoors if you can. Uh, if you do have smoke concerns, uh, you know, taking a drive or a walk to an area that's maybe not seeing those smoke impacts. Use that air conditioner heater on a recirculate uh, feature. Uh, definitely keeping windows closed. KDHE says they see the biggest impacts late at night and in the early mornings.